Yo, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick one today. Just going to show you how you can use carpet commands in survival without using cheats. So in your hardcore, and this, this is the worst hardcore spawn ever. Look at that. You're immediate. Okay. Okay. So I've seen this question come up before and it came up in the discord again, and this is technically possible. You don't have to enable cheats in order to do this. Now we've talked before on this channel, it's your world. As long as you're open and honest about it and saying, you know, I only open cheats so that I could use some park carpet commands and set the defaults. That's fine. It's your world. As long as you're honest about it, play the game how you want. But if you just don't want to do that, open to land and then allow cheats, you don't have to. I'm going to show you here how you can set certain carpet rules and even enable certain commands in survival without enabling cheats. Here I am on the new game screen. I am going to enable hardcore so we can see allow cheats are off. I'm going to do create new world. You obviously may already have your world and you can do this in a world that's already existing. I'm just setting this up so I can show the example. So here I am in a new hardcore world and you can see if I try and do the player command, it's not available. We could see even things like just my regular carpet commands are not available. So what we need to do is set those as defaults and some of the commands we can even give defaults as well. We're gonna do this one of two ways. You can either just create a new world that's going to be in creative mode, that's going to allow cheats, or you can manually edit this file right here. One way or another, we're gonna to have to work with this file. So you need to locate that. You can see on my screen, this is actually in my multi MC folder. If not, you would just go to your Minecraft folder saves and then open that world. And if you have carpet, there'll be that carpet.conf file in there. That's the carpet config. But I'm gonna show the way where we're gonna do this with the new world so that we don't have to know exactly what the syntax for those rules is. Now in my creative world, I start entering in the commands that I want to enable, and I want to set them as default so that they write into that CONF file. We're gonna do carpet set default, and then we can add in our rules. So let's say like we want stackable shulker boxes. I'm gonna set that. And we can see now it's gonna say, we'll now default to true. This is also uh, useful if you are running a carpet server with friends um, or maybe not so close friends, you're the only admin, but you still want people to have access to bots. You can do this as well. And this will also give non ops the ability to run these commands. That's basically what we're doing in single player as well, because when you have cheats not enabled, you are not an op. So this is allowing non ops to run this command. So I'm going to hit that. And now that's also going to write into that carpet CONF file. We can see there's other useful things in here. I mean, you know, the spawn, so you could do spawn tracking in your single player. Uh, if you're working on farms and you're hardcore and you like doing, uh, you know, like survival farm work or the log command, if you want to see access to your mob caps, those types of things, you can also add those in. And again, any other carpet rule you want to turn on. So auto crafting table, um, husks respawning, renewable sand, renewable deep slate, those types of things. You just do that carpet set default write out the command, set it to true, and then that's all gonna to write to that CONF file. Once we're done setting the options we want, we're now done with this world, we can exit out of it. Then you wanna come into that folder for that world inside your file manager or your Windows Explorer, whatever. You're gonna find that carpet.conf, you're going to copy that. And then we're gonna go back to our other world that we wanna keep it in. And we can see this is a hardcore world where I hadn't set any carpet rules, so I don't have that file existing yet, but I'm then going to paste it. Or if you're doing it the other way, you could just create a carpet CONF, type in your commands that were gonna be in there. But now once we load the sub world up, you can see I do not have open a LAN, I do not have cheats on, but I can do slash player bot spawn. And I get the bot commands. That was because we did that command player default to true. So that gave us access to the player command. But you can see I still don't have the cheats that are vanilla. So like game mode, I don't have access to that. Um, I can't do my um, switcher of my mode to creative or anything like that, but I do have access to those commands and those other carpet rules that I set will be enabled as well. So again, you can just do this by just quickly enabling cheats, turning on those carpet rules in your world and then turn cheats back off. But if you just don't want to do that, this is a way you can do it. And I get that. I just, there, there's that feeling that clicking that allow cheats button, it really should just be allow commands, but it just feels gritty. So this is a way you can do it in that hardcore world uh, without actually having to enable those cheats. 
So that's going to be it for this one. Uh, just remember, if you are not okay, it is okay not to be okay right now. Keep your chin up. Things will get better, I promise you. But in the meantime, it's okay not to be okay. So I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.